Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello. Oh, Sherlock. Sherlock's on my lap, and he's like, he'd be making biscuits. He'd be making biscuits, and they hurt a little bit. There he is. Hello, buddy. We did. Yeah, we made it to Oregon yesterday. Um, our very first round, we made it to Oregon. And then we did, uh, they have a like a side journey that you can do that's the California Trail during the Gold Rush. We did that and we made it and no one died on that one, which was great. Um, we also tried doing a side story that takes place in winter. So it's like after winter has already started. Um, and it's very hard and I failed instantly. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I have to retry that one. <laughs> but today is a debout Oregon, okay? We had two Oregon days. Not anymore. Now we're going back to the wetlands. The, the weird animal person wetlands of Against the Storm. Uh, which I've still very much been enjoying. So I thought we could play some more of that. I gotta tell you, if you want to take this game to another level, I know that like the the music in this game is really good. I get that. I like. I agree. But <laughs> turn the music off. Try turning the music off, and just listen to the rain sounds. It's great. It's like it's like it's happening in my for reals life because it has been non-stop raining the last few days, dude. I know, welcome to England, but like goddamn. <laughs> you mean nodding him at the moment? See? I had to readjust my poor chickens. I had to readjust their whole situation outside because they just did not have enough areas to be that would keep them from getting rained on. So, I'm sorry. So I put a big tarp over like a whole area for them. Is she talking about the old Gold Rush game or a variation of Oregon Trail? So yeah, there's, um, there's Oregon Trail, like the one that was made in the 80s, right? They remade it um, and released it a few days ago. And so we played it for a couple days and I think it's really good. It has mixed reviews for some reason. Um, I do think it's too expensive, but uh, I think they did a really good job with it. Um, they were very mindful about like recontextualizing the Native American experience during um, this time that there were so many people like trying to emigrate to Oregon and um, you know what what the whole colonizing situation was like for them um, and uh, they added like all of these side stories that talks about different different sorts of experiences and families and situations that you could be in while trying to be on the trail. And then, yeah, one of their side stories is the California gold rush. Um, and so it's, you go over some of the same areas as the Oregon trail, but it's, you're not trying to get to Oregon. You're trying to get to California to get gold. Um, so yeah, I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, one, of, one of my old friends, um, I guess was the community manager, which I didn't realize. And he came in on the first day and was saying that um, uh, they did get potentially review bombed a little bit by a lot of people who were like, ruining a perfectly good game by adding woke liberal shit to it. You know, <laughs> you know that whole thing. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's very silly. We're talking about the new Oregon Trail, which I think was great. Uh, we played it for a couple of days. I had a lot of fun with it. I would definitely like to play more of it. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, looks like a dock worker today. Yeah, give me a, bl a black coffee. 
It's the only way that I can stave off the bitter cold of the docks. <laughs> how to out yourself as a ding dong in two seconds. Yeah, we, we were talking about how there have been a couple of games that I've seen recently where I've gone down to the reviews to see how people are, are feeling about it. And there will be a review that's like, yeah, this game's pretty good, but you know, uh, a liberal they them made the game. So, you know, don't buy it. <laughs> And I'm like, well, now I'm definitely going to buy it. <laughs> this is good, but inclusiveness makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, shit. Anyways. There we go. What do you got, you got in your hair, Bubby? <laughs> Duke's stream so full of liberal nonsense. The cozy atmosphere makes me want to cry. Angry face. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been really really enjoying it. Against the storm, I assume is what that comment was about. Yeah, um, it is it is the most accessible base building game I've ever played. It's so fun. Uh, if you're the sort of person that like really stresses about like where to put things and what to build when and like whether or not you you know you need to know everything before you've even started a run or like that you're gonna put all of this work into it and get to a certain point and just it's gonna go off the rails for you. This is the the perfect base building game for you. It's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> um, because it's more it's more like roguelite-y. So you you build a base, um, but you're sort of racing against the clock. You you are working for this monarch figure that gets really impatient with you and you have to like get as much done and basically gain like victory points like a board game. You're trying to gain as many victory points as possible. Um, in a short amount of time. And if the queen gets too impatient, like like a run does not take that long. If the queen gets too impatient, she's like, fuck it, this settlement's doomed, start over, basically. Um, but if you can if you can hit your goals quick enough, then your settlement is successful and you can move on and do a new settlement, you know? Either way, whether you're successful or not, the, the base that you've made, your settlement that you've created, it, it doesn't take that long, you know? You don't have that much time to do it. So there's less of a feeling of like, oh man, I'm fucking up. But also they let you just move buildings whenever you want. <laughs> it's so great. You put, uh, like, I put down um, a little like woodworking thing and then realized, oh shit, it's in an AOE, right? So you, you, you put down like a carpentry station or a woodworking station or whatever, and it has a certain like area that it can work in and I was like oh no I thought that like like in other games I thought that I would make that and then that would just be they'll just go wherever and like get rid of whatever right but it works perfectly because you can literally just click on it and hit move and just move it to where the trees are that you want it to clear it's great, and you can prioritize. So even with the AOE, you can say, yeah, you can get all of these trees, but can you specifically get these trees? And they'll be like, you got it, bud. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so good, it's so fun. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of quality of life stuff that like I totally get doesn't work for, for longer form base builders, right? Um, but for a, a short term one where it's like, you're trying to do as much as you can, as quick as you can. Um, those those more finicky things, they don't matter as much, right? Because it's, it's difficult anyway. Um, I'm playing on the lowest difficulty because that's fun for me. So. <laughs> also the rain noises are the best. Yes, I was just saying, um, I've just turned the music off now. I don't use the music. The music's great in the game. The music's great. Um, but I've just turned it off. And all I all I do is listen to the rain noise, and it's nice. <laughs> so, 
If you're like me and you don't tend to like base builders, maybe stick around and watch and see um, if this one is more up your alley because I've, I'm really enjoying it. Also, apparently we had a weird issue with the VOD yesterday. Um, my mods were telling me that for whatever reason, the VOD for yesterday's stream wasn't showing up, but it did exist on the back end. It just needed to be published. I don't know why people weren't able to just watch it right off the bat. I'm not sure what happened there, um, but I, th I think it's fixed. I think we're good, so. Shout out to my mods for helping me figure out what went wrong there, and I'm sorry to anybody who was like, I really wanted to see the rest of Oregon Trail, dude. <laughs> I felt bad. It also got muted when you did the winter mission. Okay. <laughs> Weird. <sighs> Weird, but okay. Didn't strip and have an issue for a while where auto uploads for VODs had been turned off. I don't know. very strange lots of little chunks on the first VOD were muted too why were those points where I was singing stuff I I always wonder like how much I can get away with just singing songs that are DMCA <laughs> I don't know Twitch is fun, funky, and fucked. You know it, dabs. All right. Let's kick it. No veto tube, please. Webcam, please. Look how offset my, my webcam is. What is this? <laughs> Why is it so offset? That's so strange. <laughs> Hold on. Can't I get rid of that? Yeah, what is going on here? What's happening? No. What? Why can't I just scooch it? No, not the whole thing. You're driving me crazy. It won't let me. Excuse me. Here we go, slowly but surely. <laughs> this is so silly, what the fuck? Ah, what happened? <laughs> Excuse me. What is going on here, ma'am? 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna... What? <laughs> I'm so tired. Yes, remove it. Just get rid of it. Okay, we're putting this bitch right in the middle of the screen. What's happening with you? You're also not doing right. Okay. Doing right? Yeah, sure. Okay, add this. Hello. Make it smaller. Great, good job. You're doing so good right now. And then put it here. Why? <laughs> Why? What am I getting covered by? What is going on? If I put it in this folder, it vanishes. Why does it do that? If I take it out of the folder, is it fine? Yeah. What the fuck? But like, where is it now? Oh my god, this whole folder is fucked. Okay, just delete it. Just delete it, we're starting over. <laughs> the background's on point right now. It really is. Um, okay, whatever. Who needs a frame? Not us. <laughs> we started with no frame and we'll die with no frame. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no, the folder visibility was on. It was just very strange. Okay. Who needs frames? Baby. Not I. My cat. My cat just pooped again. Not that that's a weird thing for a cat to do. Just, man, his poops have been bad lately. Okay. So hey, here we are. Um, oops. So this is still my only successful settlement that we've done. Uh, that's the one that we did on stream. Um, so we're picking where to try and do a new settlement. Uh, yo, the I think we did the same type of biome the entire time that we were streaming last time. The different biomes are so cool. Like, let's do let's do the marshlands this time. Cause they look totally different. Like, look at this. The forests look completely di like the whole area looks totally different. It's so cool. So yeah, in this run, um, Let's see. Riches from plant life blooming on supplements doubled the yield of bonus resources claimed from trees. So the trees in this biome also drop mushrooms. Very cool. Um, I haven't heard or seen you in literally like four years. How's the child doing? How are you? I'm great. Uh, yeah, that means that that uh, it's been basically since I had my kid. Yeah, we're doing great. Uh, I live in Oregon now. My kid's in school. Uh, I have chickens. I'm doing great. I'm very happy. So, uh, I'm glad you swung by to say what's up. Live in Oregon. Oh my God. Live in England. Sorry. Too much Oregon trail for real. Um, Villagers with this effect move 20% faster. Uh, an additional stack of this effect is added for each hostility level. 
during the storms. Villagers with this effect take 200% longer breaks because the storms suck. But gathering speed is up. Um, giant resource nodes are found in Forbidden Glades. I still have yet to even go into a Forbidden Glade, so you know. And the villagers eat less food. So here we go. Let's take a look. What's around us? Danger, 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 danger. Okay. So we've got, it looks like three normal glades and then a bunch of dangerous glades around. We could go for a dangerous glade pretty early, which might be good. I think I'll put my first wood camp here and say, hey, let's just do all of this and then we can hit these two glades pretty quickly. And then um, put my other one here and try to hit this guy pretty early. Um, we've got rocks right off the bat. Oh my God, I haven't had a reason to make a stone cutter at the start in a while. Okay, so let's get that going. We're all lizards. We're all lizards all the time. Which means we need to have a focus on uh, housing pretty early on because they hate not having a place to go. <laughs> Plus two to stone production, sure. Because we actually have stones at the start, wild. Okay, let's get our blueprints. I keep winding up without a small farm at the start and it's always sucky. Let's do a kiln because the lizards like meat. And... Um, sure, and a lumber mill. And now we choose our orders. Mm-hmm, that's easy. I already have two of those. Scavenger camp. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Easy, I'm doing that right now. And get some wood. Yeah, I can do that. Great, yes, strong start. <laughs> A strong beginning. Um, okay, we have nowhere to put a farm. What is it that'll get these? Nothing I've got currently. That's fine. Um, we'll build that and our first house. Job, guys. Also, start making our paths now. Faster? Okay, our first glade. Wow, we got to the we got to the danger glade first. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Lots of things for us to harvest, so it's good. Um open vault. Working effect. It doesn't have any requirements. We don't need an item in order to do this. Thank God, because that's normally the bottleneck. A thick spreading cloud of miasma kills every living being within a radius of 20 fields. Okay, that's in 10 minutes, though. So if we start doing this now, we're, we're Gucci. What do we want? Gain three incense for every root produced. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we're, we're early days. We don't need to be sucking up to the Citadel yet. Let's go. All 
Um, I'm going to wait on that. <laughs> In case something goes wrong and this takes more than 10 minutes for some reason. I don't want everybody who's working in buildings to get killed. So yeah, you can click on these and then hit move. And literally just put them somewhere else. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's pretty great. So we'll start trying to... Make more room. How's this going? Really well. We're low on fuel. Stop making planks. Okay, we did it. That's done. Camp can't get any of this. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we do have the tools for that. Meat would make the lizards really happy. So let's do that. How are we doing on fuel? Are we okay now? Scouts are idle. Here? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Lose all stored fuel, but plus one to wood production. It said we were low on fuel anyway. We'll do that and then turn this off again and just wait until it builds up. Oh, let's also swap one of these guys out with a beaver. Them with a human. Okay, turn it back on now. See how that goes. Oh my god, I haven't done any of these yet? Jeez. Go to a dangerous glade, sure. Make some clothes? Hmm. Plus one to fabric production, sure. Anything that ups my production is probably a good shout. space. Oop. Can't reach that. That's fine. We're about to hit these two glades. Here we go. Okay, it's all stuff that we can't get to yet. That's fine. that oh, at least we can get the eggs but like once we're able to not just those but these guys these guys give us just straight up meat that'll be so nice more of those okay yeah brood mothers and stone okay <laughs> more stuff we don't need it's okay it's okay it's all it's all going toward this baby oh deliver deliver Absolutely. 
So you'll see in, at the bottom, there's a, a red bar. That's how impatient the queen is with our progress. a farm going yet. I guess I don't have like a, I guess, yeah. Trapper's camp. Ah, oh! yes. Life can truly begin now. Put some lizards in there because they love the meat. Newcomers. More lizards, we love it. Gain a lizard for every 25 eggs? <laughs> Can I keep that many lizards happy? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'll try. But we need more houses, like ASAP. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. People are afraid of whatever destroyed this caravan. Okay, but there's no requirements for me to, to do it. Okay, great. Oh, and we're gonna get two tablets. Oh! See. Investigate that shit. Everybody's gonna be scared for like a hot minute, but then it's gonna be so worth it. Put someone in here, dude. Deliver. Pick new shit. Look, if I'm out here about to like birth a million lizards and I can't even keep them happy, then I shouldn't have them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and a pack of prov Well, I do have a provisioner thing now. Or I can build it at least. Keep beavers resolve above 22. What are we at right now? I'll try. Sure, I'll try. I don't know how doable that is, but that's okay. I'll try. Okay, let's um, let's start putting some, some shitties around. Oh no, I can't. Oh! <gasps> No, oh, we've got that. We're just not, oh. I'm sorry, one thing at a time. <laughs> Cookhouse, 
not really given us well skewers though sure we still don't have any farmland bit disappointed bit disappointed with that uh and bricks we're not making bricks yet it's fine just curious what that all about it's fine though We ain't, we ain't, we ain't got shit. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't, we ain't got shit. Sure. I don't know what, what we do with that, but that's okay. It's not what's important. What's important is the industry, you know? We're getting lots of insects. We do not have the tools to search that, so we're not gonna. We do have what we need to search this. We'll yeah. suck up to the citadel a little bit. Just a smidge, just to see how it feels. Fuel, don't worry about it. Sure. idle here. We suddenly don't have the goods. Did I ship them off in a delivery? That's my bad. <laughs> okay. We gotta move this baby. We gotta move this. Ooh, there we go. Value. And then you need to move over here, yeah? Oh, there's that. Oh, that's coal. Okay. Okay, gang. I know, the goods! Global production is 50% faster, but trading is unavailable. <laughs> I don't trade anyway. <laughs> Trading who? <laughs> All right, where are we going, team? Where are we dropping, gamers? <gasps> There's a big boy. There's a big boy over there. Okay. Is this the one that kills everybody? I need incense. 
Which it looks like I might not have. Where can I check my shit? <laughs> Holy shit. You can just change it to something else? You can just say no. I don't want it to be that. What the fuck? Oh my god. This has changed my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. That's so great. Wow. That's great. Wow. That's so good. That's very great. Wow. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes. There have been a few subscriptions that have been redeemed. I really need to do those. <laughs> I'll do them today. Keep me honest. Be like Dugger and then kick down the door. Lizard resolve going up. Lizard resolve going up, guys. I feel it on the wind. Scavenger camp has no deposits. Don't even fret about that, dude. Don't even worry about it. Hey. <laughs> hey, pardon. I watched Somerville the other day and I like the artsy look of it. Yeah, I was looking at and I don't always like pay super close attention to um, negative reviews on games, but uh, I kept seeing a lot of stuff about bugs and I was like, I don't know if I want to wrestle with like potentially game breaking bugs today, you know? We need two rain collectors. I guess. Oh. Can be rebuilt. Yeah, rebuild it. Oh. <laughs> This one's the threat. Oh, this one's a timed threat. Oh my god. I guess we should appease the Citadel a little bit. Okay, do both. Do both. I believe in you guys. You got this. <laughs> gonna be fine. Scouts are idle in the cellar. Why? Because the the because the fabric was taken? Why I don't understand this. How come I can say investigate and it doesn't say, okay, we've used this, like, the second that I say you're investigating, those goods should be taken off the table. I don't know. To me, right? Are they not? Am I just misunderstanding?
Is it fine now or not? Yes, it's fine now. Okay. I think sometimes I'm confused about whether or not it's telling me that I have something, you know, like that I can use something or not. <sighs> okay, let's get another rain collector in here so we can get that stat thing. And then what is this? Oh, carpentry station. We need, we need to produce more fabric, like really badly. Oh my God. There we go. Okay, this is like the huge issue here is I'm not looking at that stuff often enough because we could have been producing tons of fabric this whole time and I didn't realize. So I obviously need to like check that stuff more often. She getting impatient though, dude. She's not happy with us. But there we go. Now we got this. Specialization bonus. We don't got any of that shit. What do we need to make copper? Because we're waiting on packs of provisions. We need clothing. God. I just need... I, uh, I keep... I have so many mushrooms. And no way to get them. Infuriating. those ones. Well, I can always move you, though.
making provisions. It's happening. I think we can make a cookhouse now. Fields. I haven't even found places for farm fields this run. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to do that, but that's okay. You're making me want to buy this game. It's, I was saying before, it's a super accessible base builder. Um, it is not, the runs are not long. It is not designed to be just like, just keep building the base forever and ever. It's, it's a short term thing. And then either you you hit your goals and got your victory points or you didn't. And that's it. So I'm like halfway through a run right now. I have one, two, three more like goal posts to hit. Otherwise the queen's gonna get pissed off and be like, Nope. You failed. And that's it. That's the whole that's the whole thing. Where is the other... What a strange place for you. Why did I put you here? <laughs> okay, there's one there. Um, let's put another one here. And get this shit. Clothes. For every five villagers with the need for brawling fulfilled. I still have not figured out how to like, like I found, I found a building that I was able to like refurbish that provided brawling to people. But I don't know if that's, like, a goalpost I have to hit of, like, being able to just create those buildings. Discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills a villager? No. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Brickyard smelter. No, I don't know how to make those yet. Oh, we discovered a thing. I think we need to appease the citadel a bit. It's a it's a biome that I tried off stream. <clears throat> Which building is this? Oh, this one. Oh my god. Man, you guys really went for it, huh? <laughs> I 
Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Thriving! <laughs> Holy shit! Mushrooms! Mushrooms are coming to town, baby! Um, do we have any that are, like, closer? No. Okay. using wood right now. We need to stop. Because we're not getting enough wood. Where am I? High hostility. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. People are growing anxious. I guess this is the most, I think this is the most glades that I've ever popped open, <laughs> so to speak. The fire is going out. Hmm. Hi, honey bunny. What is using all the wood? Not you. Those are all houses. Not you. Desi. Oh. Oh, I have to maintain it. That makes sense. Yeah, every time it rains, the lizards are like, fuck this, dude. <laughs> this sucks. Mom. 
Bombe. No, it went down to 13 again. Oh, but I still got it. Nice. Sure. Because if my beaver resolve goes up, then I get stuff. So sure. Uh, but it has to be near the hearth. Close. The need for education I'm not going to be able to hit. Pastries. What do I have that can make pastries? Nothing? <laughs> Probably. Get beaver resolve up. Make clothes. I think that's all that I can, like, possibly do but even then do I have anything that can make clothes I don't think I do oh my god I still have nowhere to put a farm Jeez, no farmland? I don't think that's ever happened on a run for me before. You're where you need to be. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Um.
this. Not a lizard on the woodcutter. What is happening here? What have I been doing? Defo. More lizards. Okay, let's see if we can get in here before shit hits the fan. <laughs> What's this game about? It's a, um, it's kind of a roguelite base builder. So, uh, in the context of the game, we are the viceroy of a monarch, the queen. Um, the queen wants to expand, and so we are helping her create settlements. You have to hit a certain number of like, uh, you, you're basically collecting like victory points based on achievements that you make on the settlement. Um, but if the queen gets impatient with you before you finish your settlement, then uh, you fail and you start over. Uh, so it's like really quick base builders. Um, uh, all of the biomes are totally different. We're in like a mushroom sort of biome right now, which is really cool. Uh, and you start off with three races, but we know from screenshots that there are more than that. We just don't have them yet. So currently we can have humans, beavers, and lizards. Um, they all have different requirements, like different things that they need out of their home in order to perform properly. Um, so we've gone really hard on lizards. We have 29 of them. <laughs> and yet they are the least satisfied, dude. Come on, man. I'm working hard out here. We have all the biscuits we could ever need, but we don't have any way to make pie. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? What have we not made? One, one, zero. Two. 
zero. I should probably build this so that we can get some coal production happening. City buildings. Small hearth reduces hostility, serves as a meeting place. Trading post. Oh my god. I've never done this. So as you expand, you can make another warehouse and be like, don't go all the way over there, silly goose. Go to the closer one. Oh, and then I can wait, but how come it's all red? Why is it red? Why is it red? What do the, oh. Oh, it can't overlap at all with the other one, I think is the requirement. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. So I'll do that next time. We uh, we haven't allowed trading, so there's no point. <laughs> and we can't make a farm. It's whatever. I'm not bitter. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Harvesters camp, but there's nothing to harvest, is there? No, it's not encouraging me to go in any direction. Okay, well, continue, babies. Our only hope is to unearth some nasty sort of shit that we can use it for something else. Please. Here we go. Yeah, what are you? The Fishmen Cave. Fishmen witches have prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break into the cave. Yeah, all the species are mixed into one. Um, but again, like they all have different requirements. So it might behoove you to like, f like really focus on like, I just want beavers. <laughs> I know what the beavers want. I know what they like, you know? I'll build houses for the beavers. I'll, I'll ferment shit for the beavers. Um, but yeah, the at least at this point in the game, it you know, when you're offered new people, it's usually a mix. But, um, they all, as a, as a race, again, because they all, like, need different things, they have different levels of, um, their resolve is different. So, if you create an area that is, like, really, in so, like, my lizards are really upset, and I love them. If you create a space that's really inhospitable for them, they will leave. <laughs> You can be like, you know what, fuck humans. I'm gonna make it so the humans hate it here. And they'll leave, they will leave. Can I do something with this? God. <gasps> I 
What's happening? So like newcomers, right? So it's it's saying, would you like some beavers and some lizards or some humans and some lizards? And you get different things depending. Um, we'll go for that. Read production. I guess, sure. Um, okay, so we're still waiting. But hopefully we can keep the beavers happy long enough to keep that around. That would be nice. We don't have enough for that. Oh, we did that. Fantastic. Give me something to make clothes with. Human houses, taverns. And a lizard house. None of these are what I need. <laughs> I don't need any of this shit. But you know what? I do have a lot of lizards. Maybe it's time we had some lizard houses, you know? Herbalist camp has no deposits. Say no more. Oh my god. We're getting there, dude. Can we? Can we make it? I don't think so. I can't make clothes. Oh my god. How am I going to win this? What the fuck is that? You eventually just hit water? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. This is like a super one. Let's go over there. Let's see. Oh, no, that's a thick boy. I just don't have the resources for thick boys right now, I don't think. Where is the other one? Oh my god, my city is such a mess. Is this it? Yeah. Oh my god. I had this built and no one was working in it. Yikes.
Go to town, my dudes. I really need, like... <laughs> More lizards! We have 36 lizards! No wonder they're depresso, dude. <laughs> There's not enough space for 36 lizards in this town! Goodness. Da 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 New hearth for the lizards. A new hearth for the lizards. What did I do? <laughs> what was that sound? Don't we get leather from these? Yeah, we do. Am I just using the leather too fast? Yikes. Shit ain't gonna work, dude. This shit ain't gonna work. Lizzie's are jazzed. They're happy. Lizzie's are happy. Rain spirit! Oh god. Okay. Investigate, homies. Do it. Also, let's get another trapper going, dude. Wait, this is already a trapper's hut. Hold the fuck on.
We got really close. Come. Come to me, my sweet child. Realizing my phone's been off this whole time. I always have, when I realize my phone has died, I always have this panic of like, what if the school's called, you know? So far, nothing. <laughs> so far, it looks like nothing's happened. Uh-oh. <laughs> so far, nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do a different biome then. The coral forest, oh my goodness. You have a royal mail parcel. Thank you. Wait, 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 oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's the same no matter what, okay. Okay, zoom back out. Coral forest. Okay, things are slowly coming in, but none of it is, your child smashed her head on something, please come pick her up, so that's good. Ooh, look at this! This is so pretty! Okay. <sighs> Increases reputation gained from resolve by 100%. Plus five to spark dew production. Gain additional spark dew every yield. Storm stifles the spirit of living creatures. Villagers with this effect have soaked clothes, get a minus five penalty to their resolve. Villagers eat less food. The forest is as scary as it is beautiful. Villagers have a 5% chance of earning bonus yields from production and gathering for each hostility level. Vegetation here mutates into unique strands. Each type of tree provides a distinct bonus resource. Oh, sick. Oh, I see. So there's different types of trees. Yo, that's sick. Okay. Sure, I'll choose my blueprints. Um, let's do carpenter. Smokehouse. Trapper. The glades are all, always look different too. I love it. Um, and then this, start here, start here.
go. Begin. Oh, this one should be humans. Yeah. We've begun. First orders. Sell goods worth at least 10 amber to a trader. That might be good because at least six humans for 30. This might be good because I don't, I've, I've still never made a trading post. So this will kind of force me to. that hopefully we'll have more luck with that this run than we did last run Ouch. sometimes your cat sits on you in like just the right way <laughs> it's like come on man like this like this? My ankles are screaming. Oh my god. That's why everything feels so slow. <laughs> I was like, why are they walking so slow? Got it. Farmland. 
Oh my god, I didn't get the farm. <laughs> of course I didn't. Why would I? <laughs> Newcomers. Gain artifacts, or gain one artifact for every two completed dangerous and forbidden glades. Lizard resolve above 14. Keep beaver resolve above 20. This is a game changer, now that I know I can do that. <laughs> I do. Thank goodness. Up here? No. Where is it? Oh, the, the actual symbol is literally covering it up. Okay, I see it though.
That's what this is. I'll just wait until they're done with their eggs. No, I can't do Surprise Child again. That got so out of hand. Wine, huh? We can get we can get down with some wine, I think. No deposits currently, so I'll just leave you there. I don't think I've unlocked like a way to... We need a mine. I've never been given the opportunity to take a mine before. So... more farmland down here. Oh my god, I can't believe this. <laughs> I finally have farmland showing up and I do not have a farm. We're dying out here. Okay.
always forget that if I'm not using something. Oops. That I should take those workers and put them somewhere else. I never think to do that for some reason. Let's make some more houses. Okay, so maybe we'll put this here, ignore that for now, and try to just cut through this shit. Nothing. Okay. Okay, we're going to hit some glades pretty quick here, I think. think we got this guy we got this guy we got this guy and this guy up here so we're only heading toward one danger one and the rest of them should just be farms oh i'm so happy Oh, I'm so happy. There's farmland here, too. Someone lives in the middle of America. I've never seen someone so happy to see a farm. I literally grew up on a farm, so I understand that. <laughs> a glade. What do we got? We got rocks. Let's put buggies in here. Let's get money. The queen is not happy with us right now. So let's try to deal with that, I think. Stone cutting. This over here. Um, put some boys in here. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's really nice. Okay, can I make a trading post yet? I can. Not far enough away yet. Ho ho. Oh, my God. So in the last one that we did, in the in the last game, when I was like, I literally have no way to get pie. <laughs> this would have been the way, right? Is to like have a traitor. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Attack the traitor? Ugh. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's a reason to take Amber as well. Um, okay. Well... Okay. Maybe another time, homie. Oh, we can actually do this now. Uh, the harvester's camp. Do I have harvester's camps yet? Yes, I do. Oh, to get reeds. <gasps> so happy. This is great. We're almost there. We're about to unlock two other glades. Let's go.
fabric. I don't think we have any fabric. Yeah. This is still fine. Here we go. Danger. Look, everyone's a little depressed, but it's all going to be fine, okay? Trust me. Wait, they want wine. <laughs> Can the brewery make a wine or is it only ale? We'll find out. <laughs> Can the brewery make out the wine? Oof, we ain't got shit in this town. What day is it, Thursday? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Ooh. <laughs> of shit down here for you.
Uh oh, I didn't like that. Um, we got any more stone? Yes, here. Nice. Ah! You're done. this here. We're gonna move you um, down here and start getting some work done in this zone. What's going on? What's, what's happening? Oh! New trader! Oh, I see. So they're only here for a short amount of time. That makes sense. You can buy perks. Gain additional coats? Gain four plant fiber for every 12 vegetables produced? Bitch. You don't gotta tell me twice to take that. Thank you very much. Is no one in here? Oh Lord. Okay. Oh, I still have, I have ancient tablets to turn in, baby. Thank you. Bing bong. Is this okay here we go where are we putting you nowhere nowhere for now to each other. This has nothing either. Oh, are they the same thing? They are. <laughs> okay. Both of you out of business right now. Woodcutters are fine. Move the harvester down here. 
just so for longevity. Do these <sighs> what the fuck else did you think? Da 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 So, Sure. What is this game about? I haven't seen any earlier gameplay of it. So ba the the basic like concept of it, the f the framework story, if you will, is that um, there is a queen, and there is like an eternal storm that is happening, which is why it's always raining in this game. Um, the queen wants us as her viceroy to create settlements to expand her territory. Uh, so. The, the like rogue lady element of this and the reason why it's so why I, I keep saying that I think it's very accessible as as a base builder is that you only have a certain amount of time to make the settlement because the queen is like breathing down your neck. Um, so you're given orders or rather you get to to um, choose orders from a list uh, and then try to complete them. And the more that you complete, it operates kind of like victory points in a board game. So the blue bar down here is how I'm doing with my goals. The red bar is how pissed off the queen is that I haven't completed everything yet. So you can do things as you're as you're playing to like appease her. Um, as you expand, you might find things and it'll give you the option like you might find stuff here you could send to the queen, you know. Uh, and also as you complete goals, her her impatience goes down. But if her bar reaches max it's game over if my bar reaches max then we've had a successful settlement and we can move on and make a new one um on the like global map when you're choosing where you want to start your settlement um the more successful settlements you have the more the map will expand and you can go to different biomes that have different offerings um, the more that you play, currently we only have three races available to us. So we've got the beavers, the humans, and the lizards, but we've seen in screenshots that there are other races to find, um, things like that. So it's, it's very interesting that way. The other, um, difficulty aspect is the hostility of the forest. So the more that you expand into like these areas, these glades, some of them have, um, you know danger levels to them and it means that it's it's something that didn't want to be disturbed but will give you a big boon you'll probably get treasure out of it or um you know a new type of building or something like that 
but the forest is going to be pissed that you're developing, right? That you're that you're building on it. It doesn't want that. Um, so not only are you trying to appease the queen, but you're also trying to appease the forest to allow you to create this settlement. Um, so there's lots of cool stuff going on there, and I just I think that it's really nice because um, it's short. <laughs> you know, the settlements that you make, it's like. Were you successful or not? Nope, the queen got pissed. Start over. You know, it's it's not it's not a long term base builder, which is really nice. Yeah, I'm really as a person who normally hits a point with base builders where I'm like, well, I don't know what to do anymore. You know, it's it's gotten too complex. I don't know. I don't know how to succeed anymore at this. This one has a ton of quality of life stuff. I can literally go here and be like, well, I don't want the woodcutter camp there anymore. And just move it somewhere else um and it's like no big uh you can move basically everything um it's it's just it's really nice <laughs> i don't actually want it there <laughs> so i'm gonna move it back but it was you know for the for the point of it um actually let's go here let's try to get in here and do a danger glade and make some progress that way <sighs> oh! Not what I needed. That's okay. Mm, a kiln might be nice. Sure. I just forget that some of these buildings look so similar to each other. Yo, humans are jazzed to be here. They're doing great. Zorg is coming soon. Okay. Then maybe I can sell some stuff and finally complete that order. I need another hub. Or rather, I need another hub to be at the right level. At least eight villagers have to be housed in the range of this hearth. Okay. I can do that. Um, I can do that. I just have to... Hold on. I just need to adjust a couple things here. I'm going to put that there. And then... We can make a couple houses. I'll choose another blueprint. Lizard houses! <laughs> oh, a tavern though. Um, hold on. Now I've already chosen all my objectives. Okay, tavern's useless to me. <laughs> I guess it's not useless. It's just, it's not useless, actually. I should get that. Um, because I think it, I think it'll boost morale quite a bit. Oh, I don't have enough fabric for it. That's okay. Where are we making fabric? We're fine. Oh. Oh my gosh. I should double check how many people are working in all of these buildings. Because we have lots of idle bitches right now. Okay. No one's at the kiln. Get some lizards in there. Farm is stocked. Camp is stocked. Okay, this place needs some decorations, and then that'll be done, I think. We need fabric, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. 
Ho ho. Oh my god, two of them. Okay, what's going on here? Some money. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Send to the citadel, though. Uh... All right, whatever. Uh, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Decaying food. Cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of two items every 10 seconds? Only when the Glade event is being worked on. Oh, that sucks, though. Oh, but we get a bunch of shit out of it, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, go. What about this? <gasps> Traders arrived. goods sold. I only have to sell 10? Really? What are these? Plant fiber production increases global food production speed by 20%. Good sold though. Oh, oh, oh. I see the problem. Seven goods sold. What? What do you mean seven? Okay, finally. We did it! <gasps> Look at all the stuff I unlocked! Oh, a temple for religion and education. Oh, finally. Scribe, a mine. New trader. Newly discovered resource nodes have 10 more charges. Oh, it's a, oh, I see. It's a, a boon. <gasps> Yay! So now we can go back to the, the big map, right? So the, so the map's pretty big, right? We got all these question marks. And occasionally there will be things like this or like this. Um, 
And these are, uh, as, we, as we push out, we'll be able to get to these things more, but, um, but they will be uh, different like boons or events or extras that we can do, which is cool. Select the compass icon to finish this cycle. Okay. <gasps> the blight storm is coming. Your settlements have been abandoned and people are returning to the citadel. No thanks to Queenie, dude. Scarlet Orchard. A beautiful yet dangerous land colored a strange shade of crimson. An abundance of herbs. I see. Ooh, look at this! I love how different all of the diff all of the areas are. It's so cool. New Viceroy embarking on an expedition to the Scarlet Orchard is a sign of royal archaeologist. You gain access to a new essential building, the archaeologist office. <gasps> Ancient excavation sites can be found here. Sick. Plus five to spark do production. The crown requires you to pay five amber with each storm. If you don't, impatience grows 20% faster. Hey, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> hey, she needs to chill the fuck out. Archaeologist office. Designed to help you study the past. It can be upgraded to locate archaeological discoveries or improve the settlement's exploration capabilities. How fun! Oh. One moment.
Hello. <laughs> I don't know if this is true or not, but it seems like my viewership jumped up since there's just been a silent image saying I'm peeing, I'm pooping. I see you, internet. I see you. <sighs> okay. What do we want? <sighs> I'm so jumbled now. What are we doing? We have mostly humans. We don't know exactly what... Oh! Herbs. I said we're going to find a lot of herbs here. I'm pretty sure. So we probably don't need to produce herbs on the farms. I'm going to take a forager camp. And then... Maybe leather worker. And then... Uh, let's do the rain mill. I never take the rain mill. Okay, so now we begin in earnest. Woodcutters. We've got big boy here, small boy here. Big boy here, big boy here. Okay, so this might be a good place to start from. Um, so we can do this uh and then do we have stones i don't think so forager can't get that shit scavenger can't get it either harvester can harvester can get it write that down Okay, get started. I'll make a little road right here, as we like to do. And then a little beep boop. Right here. Because it's fun. Okay. Great. Humans. Humans, they love that shit. Beavers, they love that shit. Um, more humans, I guess. Why not? We're gonna let the lizard just chill. <laughs> and we're gonna bump it up to times three. <gasps> Yo, we finally watched Enola Holmes last night. The second one. It was very cute. If you'll recall... I, I really loved the first one. I thought it was so cute. So I was really excited they were making a second one. We finally got to watch it last night. It was great. It's adorable. Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. <laughs> to a good start. Fuel recipes are 25% faster. Sounds good to me. Oh, there's some shit in there. We'll do scavenger camp first, but there's some shit in there, dude. Write that down.
It's a stupid bit. It's already a stupid bit. <laughs> bad bit, bad bit. Don't do it. Okay, what do we got? The scribe. You know what I find interesting about this game? Multiple buildings make the same thing. So you can really like, if you're smart, not saying I am, but if you're smart, you can look at it and be like, okay, I don't want to get this thing that makes ale because I'm also trying to get more tools. So if I get the scribe, I'll be able to make ale and tools with that. And like you can maybe get the other thing later, but but to try to like play to your strengths. Again, if you think of that. <laughs> Is P cool? I keep seeing it on Netflix and every time I'm like, should I? Uh Avinola? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Yep. Nice. Thank you. Not the herb garden. Maybe plantation though, or should just go for a normal farm. Just go for a normal farm. We don't even know if we're gonna find farmland here, dude. <laughs> Speak of the Deville. For this, harvesters, herbalists, right? Strange roots spread across the land. Wood production is increased by one, but harvesting and planting are slower. Full water skins for every full reputation point obtained through high resolve. Oh. Sure.
Beaver clan support or lizard clan support. Oh, interesting. We'll go with the beeves today. materials Right, but I also need the crude workstation to make planks or no, that's the only way to make planks I think that I have. Yes. I need this first. Sorry game. Where are we gonna scooch you? Maybe just down here. Cause like, all this shit's gotta go, dude. Wait. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totes. My goats. Okay. Do this, we do this. Yeah? And this, I guess. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, you have nothing to do. Where should you go? You should go here. And have a nice time. Come inside. Meet the missus. Come inside and have a nice cup of tea. Name that movie. <laughs> it's one a quote a lot by accident. What? What do you mean? Labyrinth. Well done, guys. Making our way downtown to dangerous glades. for the farm. Planks. Everything's missing planks. <laughs> ah, goodness. Is 
Is there stone anywhere yet? There is. Just a smidge of dupe of stone. A smidgety boppy. Just right here. So I'm going to put that there. Um, we're going to ignore that for now. And just try to get through here so we can get this glade going. We're going to put a, a stony boy here. We're going to delete one of these because they ain't got shit. Oopsie doopsie. I deleted them both. <laughs> sometimes you get too excited. You know, sometimes that's just what happens. So bad. Right, dangerous glade. That's oh, a fishman totem one. It's fine, just go, just do it. Get in there, homies. Life comes at you fast. are idle in the fishman cave. Why? Oh, because we didn't choose a reward? A reward? Okay. That looks like big, big fertile farmland over there. I'm a fan. Tote. Yeah. We got another tote. Yo, I almost did all of my first orders though. Dabs. Just get roots. Yeah, I can do that. Keep beavers resolve above 22 for 60 seconds. Fine, I'll do the building materials, dude. God. As it is, I need a lot of building materials already, though. Give me... Give me an herbalism <laughs> begging you. It's fine. Put a clothier so that you can 
can actually do the things you say you want to do. Just get the... Can't even build it! Build the tool shop. Sounds good to me. Um, wait a second. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh no, fallen beavers! It's okay, we'll send a lizard out there. <laughs> he won't care. We're good. 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 Crystallized dew. Small farm, grove, brickyard, and alchemist hut. The archaeology office. I should make that. Um, okay, we need more houses. Do that. Let's get this taken down. Oh God, nothing, nothing for you to do.
Oops. Oh, right. What? No. There we go. Darling. Mm hmm. I mean, I agree. my god I'm doing so well not to jinx myself but holy shit <laughs> Temple. Temple was one, right? Fill your villagers need for leisure, which I can do. Make a paved road. To make them even faster. <laughs> uh, lizards, I think I'll be able to do. Ooh, maybe not. I don't have that many lizards, maybe. I've made a mistake. with a mine. Can I not, can I not make one? Okay, I'll wait, I guess. It's fine. I'll just wait. <laughs> it's fine. It's easy. Okay, what's up here?
Eh? There we go. Put a couple formers on there. I would... I don't know what I'd do, but I'd do a lot to be able to harvest this shit and <laughs> get it out of the way. I would do so much. I would do so much, dude. Fuck. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Hello. What's happening? What's going on? Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh! This is a cute, this is cute. My hat? Very cute. Watson's cute? Sure, Watson's cute too, I guess. <laughs> sure, Watson is also cute. I agree. <laughs> no. This is it, the vibe, we found it. This is what I'm meant to look like for the rest of my life. That's it. There we go. Wait. There we go, wait. <laughs> there we go. Tag yourself if you know someone who looks like this every day. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> the reason <laughs> the reason that I keep adjusting the hat is because it's really tight on my head, actually. So it's like starting to hurt my ears because my ears stick out a bit. So we're gonna. Oh my god, who is she? <laughs> well, was that magic? You bet your ass. <laughs> bet your ass it was. Nice beanie. Thank you. I've been wearing it the whole stream. <laughs> Okay. My ears feel better. I think I'm in a better place. <laughs> Sam's been yelling at me recently because not not actually yelling. Um I keep complaining that oh my god, my lizard's resolve is so low. I'm just now realizing this. Anyways, um What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, I, I was telling Sam that I... I was talking with Sam about the fact that I get ocular migraines. And I was explaining them to him. And he was like, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, but I don't get the migraine that comes after for a lot of people. I just get the ocular migraine. So I just, like, can't see very well. And I, I guess it's, like, because of eye strain. And he was like, that's so crazy. What if, like, you wore your glasses sometimes? <laughs> I was like, you know, crazy thought. Maybe you get eye strain because you're not wearing your fucking glasses. <laughs> and I was like, I pretend I do not hear it. I pretend I do not hear it. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never worn glasses in my life. Okay, what are we doing? Yeah, that's not it. That can't be it. Okay, we've got a trader here. What do we need? 
Because we're hurting for something. I don't know what it is, but we're hurting for something. I feel it. Hostility from woodcutters? What have you got? Plus one to fabric production, girl. <sighs> she gets me. Um. Okay. Can build it now. Oh, I think I could build it before. Oh, it has to be on top of it. What a goofy guts I am. Of course it has to be on top of it. <laughs> it's a mine. Don't perceive me, chat. <laughs> Okay, let's make sure that everything has got people working in it. Great. And down here? Sure, great. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. picking up pace now. Shit's happening. Hi, Watson. one here. I don't have what I need for it, though. Low on food. Well, that ain't good. Oh my God, there's another one here. Maybe I'll move this. Can I move it? Nope. You keep it forever. <laughs> keep it for the rest of your life. Okay, can't make provisions anymore. That's fine. What the fuck do I need scrolls for? An 
interesting. If I call that dude to come right away, the queen gets pissed. God, we're really fucking producing fabric now, dude. Let's see. Yeah. I'll try. I will try. Oh, just kidding. I did it. I did that already. Come on, we need more lizards. Gain three barrels for every ten planks produced. Sure. Sounds good to me. do not have the things we need to make that. <laughs> but it's okay. Hmm, interesting. Well, right now I think we really just need stone. Move this where? Where are we going with this? Son of man. Harvester? <sighs> sure, okay. I do have a lot of beeves, so it's fine. Makes sense. It makes sense. Beavers jazzed or what? Hell yeah, they are. Of course they are. 
Oh, and this is getting built. Yes, good. Fantastic. Assign a lizard. They ain't got shit to do anymore. Apparently, there's nothing in it. But we can't move it. Oops. Wait a minute. Okay, some buildings can be upgraded though, like properly upgraded. There's actually so much farmland. Jesus. So which ones? Recipes. I don't think I understand what this means. Produced goods, roots, and copper ore. And then, is this like every five seconds it, it creates these things? This is the first time I've felt legitimately like confused about information this game has given me. <laughs> but look at this shit. What? Workhorses help miners carry excavated materials. But the, but it's not producing anything anymore. Why is that? Because there's nothing left? Uh, here's an experiment. Okay. No, it's still there. Okay. Um, well, since I already destroyed it, <laughs> I'm going to build a mine closer to everything. This shit. I can't get any of this shit. Okay.
Nine out of 16 lizards. We're working on it. Three clay per minute? Absolutely. Food. Okay, there's a lot of production happening up here, so maybe we make a new warehouse. Mine has no available ore. Okay. Confirmation that that's what's going on. So, so now it's like, if you wanna keep mining here, you gotta upgrade it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I see. Another mine, perhaps. What have we got, dude? Hey, there we go. Oh, come on, man. Okay, now what we got? Press plus one insect for every two mushrooms. That doesn't really help. All buildings have storage capacity increased by 10. Plus one to ale production. None of those are super helpful to me. Rest. 
recipes. Production limit. Oh, how interesting. So I can say like, don't make more than this number of this thing. So you actually can get quite finicky with this if you want to. Oh my god, 13 beavers in here. No wonder we're low on food, dude. <laughs> kingdom for some education. Yes! We can afford it. We can afford it. Because the queen's getting pissed, dude. So, what's the plan here? of the flame. Lizards? Oh my god. Make some more shelters. I don't think we're fulfilling people's shelter needs right now. Yes! Nice. A few more lizards, dude. A few more lizards, and we're in there. <gasps> Whoa. An archaeological discovery! Oh, hell yeah. The ancient skeleton has to be unearthed. Investigate it. Yeah! How neat! Um, 
a lot of humans. I can make some human houses, maybe. Whoop. Not yet, we can't. <laughs> Okay, we don't need to, like, appease the queen too much right now, which is nice. Oops. Hell yeah. Yay! Dangerous lands. Only dangerous glades are found in this region. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Coral forest. Have I done coral forest? Yes, we did do coral forest. So I think we've done all of the like starting biomes now. The marshlands are fun. I'm trying to figure out, I guess, like... So if you, if you start inside of like the zone of your last settlement, it looks like your rewards are less. Or, yeah. strange let's do the marshlands again that's what, that's, that's where my heart is guiding me, you know? That one's really close. Ouch. I wonder if it makes sense to wait. Maybe I'll wait to take these until I know what my first goals are, you know? You know? Do you feel me? And then we also need a scavenger. Ooh, hoo, 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 a scavenger here. Nope. Stone cutter? Nope, no stone. We need something to get the meat off of those, though. Okay, well, it's a good place as any to start with. Beep. Ah. I love 
love that sound. <laughs> All right, here we go. Great. Great, easy. Okay, I guess the starting stuff, it don't matter. But if we're gonna have a bunch of lizards, they do like clothing. <laughs> so there's that. And they like meat. those though This? This is a, a lizard, a representative of how the lizards in my settlement are feeling about their lives. No humans currently, only lizards and beavers. I told you. I told you guys. You turn the music off and it's just the rain sounds. Super zen. We have 1,200 people in here and no one is talking in chat. <laughs> Everybody's just lurking and chilling.
Thank you. Should probably get the farm in case we find farmland. Although the last two times I've done the marshlands, I've barely found farms. I have I think one of my buildings can make that this yeah mm-hmm I'll just leave it. From the machinery is unstable and could explode at any minute. Destroys everything within a 10 field radius in nine minutes. Okay. Um, okay, I do have spark dew that I can use. That's great. Um, let's take one of these boys out and put another one in here to do this. Which reward do we want? We're still early days, so let's take the items. Come on. Why won't it give me what I want? Why won't it give me what I want? I just want to be able to get the mushies. I just want 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 the mushies. I just, come on. Um, okay.
Okay, we did it. Very nice. Oh, they're still, like, taking stuff out of it, I see. That's why it's taking so long. Okay, what do we got? Humans. Fine. BRB? Okay. Hello. We're back in. Okay, our houses are being built. This is all very good. These are all very good things. I like this a lot. Big fan. We're gonna move this boy here. Um, do some more of this action. Oh my god, they're still trucking, they're still doing their thing. That's fine. We're gonna put some of them there. More roads. Where we're going, we do need roads. New orders. Jerky, sure. Open two caches, sure. Make some clothes, great. <sighs> Absolutely, I can do those. I can do those things. Not yet, though. <laughs> sure can't do it now, though, so... Got some roots and shit.
are humans. Yucky. Um. You know what? I'll pick this. A monolith. Warm tongue nest. Brood mother. Small fertile soil. <gasps> fertile soil? Haunted herb garden. And an open vault. All right. Root deposit, copper vein, broodmother, snake nest. Okay. Destroyed caravan. <gasps> a beaver died. Did we? It's because of a glade. Oh my god. I already regret this. Okay. Um. The scent of your wealth makes the robbed spirit angry. <laughs> Investigate. Do it. Come on, kiddos. Like, wait, what's happened here? Okay, let's get a path going down here then. If we're gonna be working here. Okay, can't make bricks. <laughs> can't do any of this. Can't make any of this. That's fine. Um, for now, let's not have anybody on there. Because you can't make shit. to get into here and then another villager's gonna die oh we've got this no <laughs> no thank you okay Not what I wanted. 
But it's fine, I'll deal with it. Someone's about to die. Is it gonna be a lizard, a beaver, or a human? Make your predictions now. <laughs> we can actually do that prediction because it's paused right now. are killing me today what's all the blue stuff around the open areas these um in this biome these are like m like fungus mushroom-esque trees um the areas and again depending on the biome it'll look different but the areas like this that are kind of like spider webby um ooh, those are um Sorry. Those are areas that are like undiscovered but have something like a mystery of the forest in them. So it could just be like, uh, you know, a node for foraging, for mining, for whatever. Or it could be like a haunted caravan, which we've run into so far. <laughs> Oh, it could be, It does it show all three? Oh yeah, it does. Weird. In the prediction thing, it says, which villager dies next? Outcomes are Lizzie or human. And I was like, no beeves? Right, make your predictions. Who's gonna die when we open up this glade? They do not want me to have anything. They don't want me to have a single good thing in my life. <laughs> that might sound extreme, and it is. <laughs> All right, ready, steady. A beaver died. Passive effects are regular baths, cleanliness, good health. Noise. Okay. Oh, oh no. I didn't notice the threat. Okay. Um, we're not doing as well with the Citadel, so let's let's send the Citadel some good vibes. And by good vibes I mean money. Maybe not use those. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, regular baths. Villagers will leave 30% slower. Global production rate is 25% faster. Same building effects do not stack. Interesting. We have no clay. And we have no flour. Well, no wonder that's not working. <laughs> Hold up. Do we not have anything that can make... Oh my god. What an oversight. We need the mill going, dude. Here we go. Then everything will be fine. We just need the mill. whatever but only make what up to 40 I guess sure. I don't know I might as well start playing around with those settings as well right what was that Pardon? What the fuck was that noise just now? Okay, normal glade so no one died. Very neat. Also this. Can we get rid of that, please? All right. humans. <sighs> okay. I'll try. Lizard houses. Oops. No. sort of stuff I need to double check occasionally. <laughs> if it feels like something isn't going very fast, it's probably because of that, yeah.
It's a fancy purple building. It is. Oh my god, do I have no wood right now? What's using all of our wood? Lots of stuff, I guess. Okay, someone's about to die. Someone's about to die once we pop through there, dude. Lizard died. Okay, I'll have to wait on that. This is the cursed shit, though. Fire is going out. Firekeeper is missing. <gasps> the firekeeper that died was. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, set that fire again. Thank you. Yikes. What are the odds? Don't answer that. Yeah, the hearth is a big turtle. Too many people and not enough like jobs for them so i think should have some more woodcutters no because i can't build that oh my god okay i have a shit ton of people what am i gonna do uh okay let's see Right, so we're not making that right now. That's fine.
that, I guess. Okay, let's pause and look at everybody's needs currently. We've incurred some hostility. Okay, we need more shelters. We can do that. We'll do three, three more, just normal shelters. I'm sure that'll generally help, yeah. Okay, it looks like we can fit one more in there. So let's do that. this action do that to make a mine. How do I make the, the little gear things? <sighs> oh, it's cold, dude. <laughs> Fuck.
We got a four glades. We just need one more glade, dude. We're trying, we're getting in there. Clothing needs are fulfilled. Oh right, we still need humans. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Pickled goods, skewers, biscuits. Who am I appealing to? I have the exact same number of beavers as I do lizards. I'm going to do the brewery. The brewery. Um, we need, we need... <laughs> Oh my god. How do I get these? Difficult to produce? What do you mean? What, so I'm just fucked? Maybe I have to bring in a trader. Give me all of them. Uh, okay. Well, maybe not all of them. <laughs> okay. hostility by 50 gain crystallized dew for every 10 berries produced Okay, let's build this shit. <laughs> Please. Please build this building. I'm begging you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. And get boys in there. Get boys in there. Oh my god. Okay. All right. 
Life's gonna change, dude. Life's gonna change, dude. So look at this shit. I'm so close. And I lost resolve because of the storm. It's okay. Okay, we're nearly there. There we go. We did it! Ugh. Win a game in the marshlands. Collect 10 reputation points through Villager Resolve. Win a game without opening any caches. Oh, I mean that was by accident. <laughs> Nice. Two are got two successful settlements. We haven't failed a settlement since since this shit happened. Time left before the next blight storm. Very neat. <laughs> Super cool. I love it. Yeah, it was colony number two since this, like, in this cycle. Um, I've played through, I want to say, like, six or seven total. I don't know, something like that. Do you guys want to just chill for 20 minutes? Do a short coffee time? Save and quit. As much as I love raging against the storm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's fair. We were already chilling, to be to be perfectly honest, but I can't tell if I'm hearing wind, water, heart, go planet. Oh, 
coffee time. Later. Nothing! You get nothing! <laughs> Bam. Hold on. Let me turn this other light on and see if that helps. Beep? It's just because it's a we're a little zoomy, that's why. We're a little zoomy in. So the quality isn't as good. My poor ears, dude. Live. My kid thought that it would be a good idea. We were painting our nails and she was like, you should do the middle three black and then the thumb and the pinky pink. And I was like, okay. But the pink that we have is like flesh tony, right? It's fine when it's all of them, but when it's just a couple of them, it looks like you just painted three nails. <laughs> so I tried to do like a like a fancy like a like a like a thing, like a design <laughs> on one of them to make it obvious that there was another color involved. It didn't help. It didn't help, so I'll be taking this off. <laughs> I've I've rocked it since Saturday, I want to say. I've had it. I've had it for a while now. Um, I think I really gave it a college try, and I think I'm done with it. Yeah. We paint, Clarkie paints her nails every weekend. So every weekend, um, you know, when she's no longer under the thumb of the man, she comes home and she paints her fucking nails, and we do it together now, assuming that I want to. Sometimes I really don't want my nails painted. But if I want to, we paint them together. Um, every single time, she, without fail, I will start painting them, and she'll say, Mommy, why aren't you painting them rainbow? Because it literally, it makes zero sense to her why on earth I would want two of my nails to be the same color. When, when my kid says, paint them rainbow, she means every nail should be a totally different color. And that is, that is exactly what she does every time. She'll pick out 10 colors. <laughs> or sometimes, sometimes she surprises me and she picks out five. And then it, the same five colors will go on each hand, but they will not be on the same fingers, right? To like give the illusion that it's all different colors, but it's not. Um, so yeah, whenever I start to paint nails and I go to paint a second one the same color, she's flabbergasted. <laughs> it's a good solid mood. It is. Yeah. Uh, she comes home, she gets, you know, two days of freedom where she can paint her nails and wear whatever she wants. And it's great. Love the hat. Thank you. It's a Lucy and Yak hat. <sighs> Don't ask me what this sweater is. I have no idea. I could look, but it's going to be a whole, like, it's going to be a whole rigmarole, you know? What I can tell you is these are on purpose. They existed on the sweater at the time of, I was gonna say consumption. At the time of consumption, it was created. How many different colors do y'all have of nail polish? Quite a few, because my kid loves painting her nails. <laughs> when it's when it was just me in this house painting nails, we got your black, we got your sort of flesh tony pinky color. Um, I got a color that was meant to be like this, but wound up being just the most disgusting color ever. And Clark always uses it, which makes me laugh. <laughs> she loves it. She thinks it's really pretty. I'll never get it. Um, and then, uh, oh, I had like, I don't know what to call it other than hot green. <laughs> it's like, like a, like a high intensity, like neon green color. Um, that I do not like. So there's two, there's two. There's there's disgusting mustard orange um, or mustard yellowy color. There's uh, green that is far too green. 
Oh, I actually, I have a color that's kind of like this, too, and I like this. So those, those are what I've got. And then Clark came into my life, and now we've got, we've got sparkle purple. We've got sparkle black. We've got um, pink. We've got darker pink. We've got purpley pink. We've got so many. We've got so many colors. We've got like a like a shimmery blue. All sorts of shit. Too green as in hurts your eyes. Yeah. It's also kind of see-through. It's a very strange... It's a strange nail polish. So... Ah, I've got a ping that I should probably look at. Cyberpunk green, I guess. <laughs> I've been trying to come up with like my kid is my kid is a craft fiend, which is great. Uh, it really forces me to think outside of the box about projects we can do. Because sometimes at like 11 p.m. Not 11 p.m. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Here's what happened to my brain just then. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a little side tangent. Here's what happened with my brain: is 11 p.m. for me in my life is about an hour before I'm gonna go to sleep, right? And I was equating that to about an hour before my kid would go to sleep, which is actually 6.37-ish, right? So the story should have started with around 7 o'clock, she'll say this. But because I was thinking to myself an hour before bed, I said 11 o'clock instead. I do not let my kid stay up till 11. I just want everybody to know that. Um, some people do, and it works totally fine for them. Their sleep schedules and their cycles are just, like, totally different from ours. But I would just like to establish. <laughs> she goes to bed around, like, 7 or 8, okay? Anyways, so it'll be late, right? Late for her. And she'll say, Mommy, I want to do a project. I want to I do crafts, right? And my only rule, really, at that point in the night is, okay, but it can't be paint. I don't want to be fucking cleaning up paint after I put you to sleep, you know? Like, I'm... We're not doing that. Um, so no paint. So what are we going to do? Uh, so like last night, she really wanted to do something. And I was like, okay. And we had a bunch of toilet roll. I always keep toilet roll around uh, because you can use them for all kinds of shit. So I cut a big slit down some toilet roll and I tried to twist it up into kind of like a cone shape. And I was like, it's a Christmas tree. Color it like a Christmas tree. And she was like, nice, got it. Um, so we started to color our Christmas trees and it went, it went south so quickly. <laughs> it went south so quickly. She was having a great time. And then I was like, all right, now we got to go to bed. And she was like, can I do one last thing on it? And I said, sure, that's totally fine. And so she started to like, she started to color a thing on it. And then she goes, and now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this next thing. And I said, no, you're not. Because we agreed one last thing. And you can work on it some more tomorrow if you'd like. Bro, the meltdown. I've got, here's a piece of advice for any of you who are like dipping toes into the three and four and five year old section of your kid's life. When they start uh, getting really upset about a thing, do not say to them, this is a, this is a call out post for my husband. Do not say to them, honey, I think maybe you're just tired. Don't say that. Why the fuck would you say that? Does an adult like hearing that? You know, your feelings, I know that you're feeling those feelings right now, but it might just be because you're tired. <laughs> don't say that to an adult. Also, don't say that to a kid. Holy shit, it pisses them off so bad. <laughs> oh my God. Sam will pick her up 
and be like comforting her and be like, honey, I think maybe we're just tired and we should go to bed. And she goes, I'm not tired. Loses it, dude. Oh my God. It goes south so quickly. <laughs> like, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> I actually really liked when my mom would say that to me as a kid. I guess I'm weird. I think it depends on the situation that you're in. If Clark's if Clark's not already really upset, it's it's like the difference between invalidation and like just a conversation about whether or not you're tired, I think. At least for at least for Clark, and I would say for me as well, right? If I'm just behaving like I'm tired, but generally I'm fine. And someone says, you seem like you're kind of tired. I don't immediately get offended by that, you know? But uh, if I'm like raging about something and someone says, maybe you're just tired. It's like, no, that's not what's going on here. <laughs> no, no. There's also a difference between telling them they're tired and asking if they're tired. That's true. Clark's pretty, normally, if she's in a good mood, Clark's pretty good about being like, I'm pretty tired right now. You know, I need to go to bed, which is great. Um, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, please do not use this story to bully my husband next time that he gets upset about something. That is not what this story was for. And I'll actually be legitimately annoyed with any of you who do that. <laughs> so do not do that. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Oh my god. I was um I was catching up with Nomad and we uh he was like, Have you been playing, you know, the new Overwatch stuff? And I was like, No, not really. So we <laughs> went into a match, bro, three matches in a row. It was all unranked because I was like, I'm gonna be straight up with you, I'm not good at this game. It was all unranked, but like every single match we went into, Clark woke up <laughs> and would come in and be like upset. And I'd say I have to hop out. So I abandoned three matches in a row. And he was like, maybe this isn't the right game for tonight. <laughs> maybe this is not what we should be playing. I felt so bad. <laughs> Shout out to the friends in my life who are like, I get it. You got to do the mom thing. You know, like... I get it. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I was talking with, uh, I watched Enola last night with um, Jeannie and Kristen pretty late. We were done at like 2.30 in the morning. It was bad. But um, uh, I was telling them, I, th I think Clarky's in, because like you have growth spurts, but there's there's physical growth spurts and there's also like mental growth spurts kind of. Um, kids while they're growing, they're, they'll, some, something will suddenly click for them. Their, their brain will basically make a, like a big development. Right. Um, and it's really difficult for them to turn their brain off and to stop thinking. It makes it so it's difficult for them to sleep. Um, they get more irritable. Right. So I was like, I think Clark might be having like a brain growth spurt right now, which is great. That's, that's wonderful. But, you know, it means that um, a lot of things are really frustrating for her and she's not sleeping very well and it's a whole thing. But I think that it is good to know that those things happen and to try to kind of learn the signs of those things happening with your kid. Um Even the most patient parent 
is going to like hit the bottom of the jar you know <laughs> just and find it really difficult to to like grasp more capacity for patients um so sometimes understanding what it is that your kid is going through when they're not able to express it or explain it to you can be so helpful to just contextualize like what's going on with them because you know i have i have a lot of nights in my life where um i'm just on cuddle duty basically all night and i don't i don't resent that at all um but you know there's a huge difference between a night where she just sleeps straight through and is fine and wakes up and is like let's get ready for school versus a night where if she reaches for me in her sleep and i'm not there she panics, you know. My daughter is just a couple months older than Clark. Hearing your stories is incredibly validating for me. I'm glad. We're all in this together, dude. We're all just doing our best. <laughs> Tangent, but a few years ago, I had to be reminded that kids don't innately know how to blow their noses. It's easy to forget something you think is easy is something that they're just experiencing. Yeah, Tyria and I have talked about that a lot. She has two kids. I only have Clarky, right? So I, I can only like uh have experiences with this one child but um Terry was talking about how one of her kids figured out how to blow his nose like immediately but her eldest still sometimes has trouble blowing her nose you know and it's like everything they have to learn everything they have to learn how to do all of it um and some things are going to be more difficult than other things depending on the kid for whatever reason Did you do research to figure out how you wanted to parent? Yes. I I did a lot of reading, actually. Um, I, I would say I studied more for parenting than I've studied for anything in my life. Um, I don't want that to make, I don't want that to sound like I uh, studied an insane amount. Um, I have always been bad at studying, I guess is the point of that. <laughs> but uh but yeah, I did a lot of reading because um, some I've talked about this a little bit, but like some of the ways that I was disciplined growing up, and I don't I don't resent my parents for this at all. Um, some of the ways that I was disciplined growing up did not work for me. It, it just didn't, you know. Um, and so I was I was very aware of the fact that a lot of time had gone by and that we probably have a better understanding of how kids brains work and um what does and and doesn't work and there's with the internet and everything you have so much at your fingertips to sort of comb through and be like what sort of parent do i want to be what what do i think i would be best at you know um and that's going to be totally different depending on you as the parent and depending on them as the kid. I think some I think some stuff that people say is like the end all be all way to do things, it just doesn't work with some kids and it doesn't work with some parents, you know. All of every parent is an imperfect adult that's been through some shit. <laughs> you know, the we're all learning how to parent at the same time. And we're all going to have to, like, stare our own demons in the eyeballs and be like, shit, I have to, like, confront this now to be a better parent to my kid, right? Everybody has to do that. Everyone. Um, and so it, it's not only, like, when I was talking earlier about just, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel to have, like, more patience. It's not just with them. It's also with yourself. <laughs> It's also with yourself because you're going to do things sometimes and you're going to feel like the worst parent in the world. And every single person, I don't care how it looks on Instagram and shit, every single parent has a moment where they think I'm the worst parent in the world. <laughs> you know? Um, so...
<laughs> yeah, and every parent also is not sleeping enough. I don't know. It's probably not true. Some people, some people wind up with kids that just like sleep forever. <laughs> But even even when your kid sleeps a lot, because Clarky Clarky slept really well for a really long time. Um, but even then, we were still exhausted all the time. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> Maybe they're tired. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. Anyways. The mental fatigue. Yeah. The, the micro stressors, you know, that mob psycho shit. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty. Let's wrap up here, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Parenting's most amazing and exhausting fact. Absolutely. And I, I feel like I gotta make sure I say it almost every time we get into this sort of conversation. But yo, if you don't want kids, do not have kids. I don't care how much peer pressure, I don't care how much parent pressure, I don't care, I don't give a shit. Do not have kids unless you want kids. And even if you really want kids, like make sure that you are like double check. <laughs> Cause it changes your whole life. It is a lot, it is so much, dude. And anybody who doesn't want kids should, should not be made to feel like they should have kids. It doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> Anywho. Kuba the bear, thank you for the six years. <laughs> I almost said months. Thank you for the six years. Happy anniversary. One, two, three, four, five, six. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tatters, thank you for the 35. PG Wipeout for the five years. Happy anniversary. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to abandon the dabbing thing soon, dude. It's all, I, I don't know that I have the, str I don't have the fortitude for the long term. Ander, thank you for the one year. Happy anniversary. One dab for you. Bless. Puff Maggie, thank you for the 28. Dioronite for the 13. Malcorps for the 16. Dojums for the gifted sub. Jun Coffee for the 26. Contact Center Girl for the 27. Capsimistic, thank you very much for the raid. Celise for the 65. Anise Revenge for the 33. Lee Scoresby for the 98. Chrisek for the 51. Zer for the 95. Yang Yang for the 35. Last Firefight for the 22. Super Sea Lion for the one year. Happy anniversary. A singular dab. Thank you, thank you. Cache hit for the two years. Happy anniversary, a one, a two. Thank you, thank you. Nova of the East, thank you for the five. Mana Trail for the 16. Southern Vices for the 64. Sir Buttwipe for the four. Pronounceable Boris for the four years. Happy anniversary, one, two, three, four. Thank you, thank you. Um, Chris V for the 15. Shifty Monk for the 68. And Tenacious Moogle for the four years as well. Happy anniversary, one, two, three, four. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Let's see. We've got a raid leader, so let's double check that they're still live. Yup. Looks like they're just walking around, living life. Let's go say hi to Zambi. Uh, have a fantastic day. Spread love, spread joy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.